welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching. For today's video, I have a tutorial and a review of the new Sephora Pro palette. So this is what it looks like. Don't mind my fingerprints. That's the only downside to this palette. You're going to get it dirty really quick, but that's okay. So I will be reviewing this palette and doing a quick tutorial with it as well. It's going to be on this look right here. So yeah, before we get into it, let me just give you an overview of this palette. So this palette retails for $85 Canadian, which is, I believe, $65 USD. Sorry if I'm wrong, but I know it's $85 Canadian, and you can pick this up at Sephora. Now, the one that I decided to pick up is the Warm Palette because I love my warm tones, and I decided, hmm, let me try this one out and see if it is worth it, and then... If I like it, I will go with the editorial palette. So they have three palettes, the warm, editorial, and the cool tone palette. Now the cool tone palette is not really attractive to me and on top of that I don't really use a lot of cool tones so I wasn't really feeling that one. But if I do like the warm palette then I will definitely be um, picking up the editorial palette. So it did come in the packaging and the packaging has a little layout of what the shadows look like on the inside which I think is great and it's quite helpful. Let me just tell you what it says at the back. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so it says, like a makeup artist's kit, these palettes incorporate a range of expertly selected finishes and shades to achieve any look imaginable. Available in cool, warm, or editorial looks for easy navigation. Each palette comes with simple application techniques, which is this actually. It came with a booklet like this. It gives you four look options that you can do using this palette which is great. I really like that they included that. And yeah, so it says each palette comes with simple application techniques written by the Sephora Pro team that are unique but never intimidating. Create endless looks featuring rich, velvety, warm pigments and golden textures that light up your eyes. And once you open it up, it has this little like cover or whatever you want to call it with all the names of the shadows on it. I think I mean, I don't know if I would say it's useful. It's kind of annoying <laughs> because every time you open it, it's just going to be there and it's going to like fall out and whatever. But yeah, I wouldn't really care about this. Um, it does have a really nice mirror, which I'm going to try not to blind you guys with. It has a really nice big mirror, which is great. I really, really like it. And it is a nice, like, you know, good quality mirror. And then you have these beautiful shadows. So this is what the palette looks like. It comes with 28 shadows. Um, it has a mix of mattes, shimmers, chrome finish, and satin finish, I believe. So again, this retails for $85 Canadian. Now you guys have probably heard a lot of people comparing this palette to the Natasha Denona palette which yes it looks very very similar in terms of the layout the color schemes and all of that it looks very similar now I don't know how similar it is when it comes to pigmentation and the blendability and all of that because I personally don't own the Natasha Denona palette I feel like it is a lot for an eyeshadow palette and I'm just like you guys so for me to go ahead and spend $140 or $180 whatever it is um, on an eyeshadow palette that is a lot for me as well so I totally understand you guys if you guys have been wanting to try the Natasha Denona palette but it is too much then you have this and it might be really nice so we will see that um, I'm not really going to be comparing this one to the Natasha Denona one because like I mentioned I have not personally used those shadows so today we are just going to be doing a review on this and then I will also show you guys how I got this look right here so if you guys want to see how I got this look right here and if you want to hear a little review about this palette right here then please keep watching all right so let's do this I'm going to start off with a crease color and for that, I think I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to put that into my crease. Ooh, this is pretty pigmented. I got a lot of color on my brush. So let's see how this works. And 
I'm just buffing this into my crease. So I'm just building up my crease color at this point. Next, I'm going to go into this shade right here and I'm going to use a smaller blending brush. So I'm doing the same thing with this color, just putting this into the crease as well, but just a little bit lower than the first shade. And I am just slowly deepening up this look. Because you want to start off with a nice light transition shade and then you want to keep building. Okay next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this yellow shade right here and I'm going to try to put that into my upper crease. Um, let's see how this works. I'm going to put a little bit in here. Just to give it that warmth. Just sweeping it lightly. Next, I am going to take a even smaller blending brush and go into a little bit of a darker shade. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade right here. It's a nice plum color. I'm just going to put this right on the outer corner of the eye and then bring it up. Honestly guys, I really like how these are blending. I'm going to go back to my first blending brush. Blend this out. So I'm going to deepen it up a little bit more. So I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm going to put this right in here. So what I'm doing is I'm putting this color a little bit um, on the inner area. So I put the purple on the outer edge. Now I'm putting this color a little bit further in then I put the purple so yeah if that makes any sense take that blending brush one more time this is the smaller blending brush just blend everything out I just burnt did you guys hear that? <laughs> I didn't set my brows yet and I don't know what the hell is going on with my brows today. It's just everywhere. Now for the lid, I'm going to take this beautiful copper shade right here. Just using, using, I'm just using a short shader brush. Let's see how this will work. I got quite a bit on my brush but I just want to see if it gives a lot of pigment or no. Whoa, okay. Okay, well then. Oh, this is nice. This is very nice. I can definitely use Fix Plus to intensify it a little bit more which I'm going to do because I just can't use shimmer shadows without using fix plus anymore. So I'm just going to wet my brush. Let me just see. Oh yeah, this is better. This is better. So there is definitely a lot of pigment um, even without the fix plus, but the fix plus just adds that little kick, you know? So I like it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do like a halo eye. So, yeah, I'm like all over the place today. I don't even know what I want to do. I'm going to start off with that plum shade that I used earlier. 
put that into my inner and I'm gonna take that dark brown shade put that into my inner as well Putting this on the center of the lid one more time because I did darken the inner corner and I lost some, so I'm just intensifying it one more time. I'm gonna just finish up this eye quickly. So next, um, I'm going to just do a winged liner. Actually, before that, let's just highlight under the brow bone. I'm going to use that second shade just to highlight right underneath the brow bone. Okay, so I'm going to take that first shade one more time on my blending brush. And I'm just going to sweep it on the upper crease one more time just to deepen it up a little bit more so yes we do have a little bit of fallout but it's not even bad it's not that bad you will always have fallout and I have powder underneath so it's not gonna be hard to dust off I'm gonna do a wing and I'm gonna use the NYC liquid liner let's do this wing let's wing it out just really hyper today. Super hyper. Okay, lashes are on. Now I'm just going to finish off my bottom lash line. And I am just going to take a flat definer brush. I just saw my flat definer brush and then I can't find it now. What? Got it. Got it. I'm going to take this brown right here and I'm going to put this on my lower lash line as close to the lash root as possible. Whew, this brown is pigmented. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna take that same purple shade that we used and I'm going to smudge that lower lash. So as you can see I am smudging it a lot like bringing it down quite a bit just because I want that really smoked out lash line. I'm gonna take a fluffier brush like this this is by crown and I'm gonna pick up that first crease shade that we used and I'm going to smudge it under here just gonna use this pixie eyeliner I always use this eyeliner I feel like um, in most of my videos this is the plum shade I like to tight line my eyes. I think it makes a huge difference. Well, and it makes you want to cry. But that's okay. I'm gonna take this beautiful shade right here. It's like kind of like a rosy pinkish shade. I'm gonna take that and put this in my inner corner. Oh yes, this looks nice. So this one, I find that it's not as pigmented. Like the color is there, 
but eh, I'm gonna wet my brush again. Even without wetting the brush, I find that this color is not coming out as pigmented as the copper one was when I did not even wet it. Um, but let's see how this is when it's wet. Oh yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. And I'm also gonna take that and just put it in the center of the lower lash line. Okay, see this color is not that pigmented. I don't know what's going on with this color. I'm not even getting anything now. I was getting something for here, but now I'm not even getting anything. This is really weird. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna just leave it like this. I mean, I already do like how this is, but I just want to try that color because it looked really nice in the inner corner so I wanted to just put on the lower lash line as well in the middle but I guess that's not gonna happen I'm just going to coat my lower lashes with some mascara let's do the lips and then I'll give you guys my full review So this is the finished result. I really do like this palette. I like the way the eyes came out today. I think the colors blended really, really nicely and really easily, except for that pink shade, which didn't have a lot of pigment, to be honest. Um, it was working great at first, and then I don't know what happened. So this is the shade that I'm talking about, the pink right here. So this is the only one that I kind of didn't like because it didn't have a lot of pigment um, but other than that rest of the shadows that I use today in this eye look came out really great so is this palette worth it in my opinion it definitely is it is $85 Canadian like I mentioned earlier I am thinking of picking up the editorial palette as well if you guys want to see a look with that then definitely let me know in the comments down below and yeah i think that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and if you liked it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and i will see you all in my next video